where do you get your trellises? Are they custom built? Do you have a link for them? These are the type of questions that I get whenever I post pictures or videos of my trellises that I have here, which are cattle panel. So I figured I will make a video explaining to you how I use them and how they help me in the garden. Hi gorgeous, I am so glad that you're here. If you are not subscribed to the channel, maybe today is the day to think about subscribing. If you're new here, my name is Roxana and I garden in Zone 5 in Central Indiana. I grow things like vegetables, flowers, kale, cherry tomatoes, geranium, hydrangeas, coleus. They're all trials for me. I am by no means a professional, but I just love to make videos and I love to share the garden activity that is going on in my backyard, in my small urban backyard. So thank you for being here. Back in 2019, when I took it upon myself to search and research everything to do with growing vegetables at home, starting your own raised beds in your backyard, I found Jess of Roots and Refuge. If you follow me, or if you ended up in this video, you probably know about her. If not, I will have a link in the description below. I basically found her looking through tomatoes, raised beds, uh, easy ways to grow food at home. In one of her many videos about how to grow vegetables at home, she talked about cattle panels. That's where I got the idea from. And honestly, I love, love using cattle panels in my garden. They're a super easy and cost-effective way to grow food vertically and I am I'm loving them. I can use them as a wall, I can use them as a teepee, I can use them in a standalone way. You can make cages out of them. I know Joe Gardner makes cages for his tomatoes. I will have to make at least 40 cages, so that's why I don't do them that way. Uh, but if you only have a handful of tomatoes or a handful of things to grow that uh, might need some trellising or support, then probably making a cage will be a great way for you to um, use cattle panels. I will link to that video where Joe uses uh, cattle panels to make cages. So check the description below where you can find some resources in how to use cattle panels in your own way. If you have the space, you can make a bunch of cages. If you have a small space, maybe you can just make a wall. I'm going to show you how I use them for my own garden, the way that I grow things with them, and uh, hopefully this helps you in your own way. So what are cattle panels? Where can you find them? In the area where I live here in central Indiana, the only place that I know of where I can get cattle panels is tractor supply. If you have a tractor supply, close by, more than likely you'll be able to find cattle panels there. I have one about 10 minutes from where I live, so it's super convenient. I can just get my pickup truck. Now, cattle panels, if you're not familiar with them, they are very, very heavy duty. They are not panels that you can just easily fold or roll in one convenient way to move them around. They are a flat panel that is 16 feet long and 15 inches wide. They are galvanized, heavy duty, and you can't really cut them easily. You will need a pair of uh, bull cutters, heavy duty bull cutters. If you're anything like me, you need something that is powerful to cut those suckers because they are, they're just not easy to cut. And folding them, well, that's another story. I tried folding one myself and I swear I almost broke one of my wrists because you need some strength to fold those. Because I knew the measurements of my garden, I knew that I was going to make a few walls and I knew that I was going to make one arch with them. So I knew that I could just go to Tractor Supply, cut them myself. The one Tractor Supply that is located close to me does not cut them for me. I have to do that myself. So thankfully my husband was with me at the time and he cut them himself. He put them in his truck and we transport in that way. We cut the panels in two pieces. They were equal pieces. And like I said, we measured before we went, knowing how long the pieces needed to be uh, in order to make our wall work. So we brought them home, I bought a few pieces, and we started building a wall of cattle panels. I knew that I can grow tomatoes, melons, pole beans, Anything that will crawl around or that will need a guy or a trellis in this way was able to work on those walls. So we got a few of those. We also grabbed some T-posts, heavy duty T-posts to support those. And we got some zip ties and even my husband went an extra step and secured them with some 
wire that he had in the garage. So the walls that we have using those kettle panels are not going anywhere. They are there to stay. I don't store them. I don't take those panels in in the winter for any reason. They stay there and because they are galvanized, they don't really rust easily. It will take a while for them to rust. They work for me. If one year I choose to grow tomatoes in the raised beds, I have a wall for them. If the next year I choose to grow melons, I have the wall for them there. So having that permanent trellis there is a great, great way for me to use the space that I have vertically and it works great. The wall is actually located along the property line of my property, so it's a great natural privacy fence in the summer. Like I said, the panels are 50 inches wide. When we were making those walls using the cattle panel, we knew that we didn't want the panels to be right at ground level or at raised bed level. So we raised them. We actually didn't uh, get them on the T-post until I will say 12 to 16 inches from the ground because when your plants are just starting when they're really little you really don't need to guide them it's not until they get a little bit taller that they need that trellis that support so covering that space from the ground up using the trellis was going to be wasted i hope that makes sense so having those panels raised a little bit uh, from the ground gave us a little bit more height so tomatoes melons we're going to have more room to spread more room to grow and that has been working great for us because by the time that i transplant my tomato plants they're already 12 to 18 inches long anyway so it takes them about a couple of weeks until they actually can reach the trellis and that works great for me like i said I am making the trellis work for the needs that I have in my own garden. And so far those walls have been there for three years and they are holding the shade. They are very strong. We buried those tipos all the way as we could so that they will be doing majority of the heavy lifting. And like I mentioned, those panels are not going anywhere. They are really heavy duty and that makes for a great, great support for whatever it is that you're growing. And like a good home gardener will do if you are using cattle panels in your backyard, I decided to make an artwork with them and I loved it. I know a lot of people use one panel and they just bend that around and they secure it with T-poles on each side. But I wanted an artwork that was slightly taller, slightly bigger, so I decided to use one and a half panels. I basically cut one panel in the middle and then I added half of another panel to meet the two pieces on the top and that was amazing. The first year I grew some melons. I believe I had some Kajari melons in there. They did amazing. And last year I grew some Hawaiian currant tomatoes that basically took over the whole arbor. Those things were crazy. If you have the space and you like cherry tomatoes, check Hawaiian currant tomatoes because they are a beast in the garden. And the arbor was fine. It was great. It did what it needed to do. However, this year I decided to reinvent that space. So I took down the arbor and I had all of those panels extra and I decided to make something different with them. And I even spray painted all of the panels, which was a pain. Um, I wasted a lot of spray paint trying to get those panels black, but I feel like painting those panels black just kind of brought everything together especially with the arbor that my husband built for the front of the race beds and i am i'm loving how everything is turning out to be these are a couple of pieces of cattle panels that i took from that arbor all this is is two cattle panels two cattle panels the same size that i attach on the top with some black zip ties and i basically bury them in the ground this way so they are making a pyramid or a teepee whatever you call it and they are nicely secure in the ground i don't have any t-posts or anything i basically cut the bottom part of the panels that are going horizontally and uh, that way the parts that are going vertically are the ones that are buried in the raised bed and like i said they are not going anywhere
I spray painted the panels black because why not? And I am loving the look of it. This spring, I also painted my raised beds black. So everything is just matching beautifully. A lot of things just find their own way crawling or trellising around the trellis, around the cattle panels by themselves. But sometimes I have to give them a little bit of help, especially if it's something that is just a little bit heavy or it's not crawling very well. So I use a stretchy tape to help the vines or the branches go around, especially with my tomatoes. Sometimes I miss a few days of when they are growing and some of the branches just get really heavy or strong where I cannot just bend them easily to go in between the openings of the cattle panel. And that's really not a big deal for me. I just use the stretch tape to attach them to the cattle panel. And honestly, having those heavy duty panels there being really strong, knowing that if a strong storm or some rain or whatever it is um, ends in their way that they're going to hold up and they're not going to be trashing or killing my plants. By the way, quick announcement. You guys, I have merch. So if you're interested in supporting this channel in another way and you wanna get something in return other than the amazing videos that I make, you can just look at all of the links below. Actually, don't look in the description, just look at the stuff below the video. YouTube is allowing me to put pictures and whatnot to all of the merch available, so. So are you guys already using cattle panels in your garden? How are you doing? Are you loving them or nah? Let me know because I know for myself, I am I'm loving having these trellises, this way of making my own. This guy right here, I can just take out if I wanted to put something else in here. Like I said, so far, I, I feel like cattle panel is very underrated as far as helping you grow your vegetables or even your flowers. I mean, imagine having one of these trellises in your flower beds growing clematis or honeysuckle or whatever it is that you need them for. They work really great and if you can spray paint them any color that you want to match your decor or your theme in your garden, that um, I mean, what else can you ask for? That's it for this video, you guys. I hope that it helped you. I hope that you get some ideas in how to use these panels in your own garden, in your own flower beds, even your raised beds. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and thank you for being here. Until the next time.